So, sa previous lecture video natin, inaral natin kung paano ba mag-solve ng Laplace transform. Ngayon naman, aaralin natin yung reverse process ng Laplace transform which is called as the inverse Laplace transform. So, sa previous lecture video natin, di ba, naaral natin kung paano kumuha ng Laplace transform. So, ito yung equation natin for Laplace transform. The Laplace transform of f of t is equal to the integral of e raised to negative st times f of t dt from 0 up to infinity. And you should arrive with the answer which is f of s. So, yung inverse Laplace transform, kabaliktaran lang siya ng process. So, the inverse Laplace transform of f of s, ibabalik mo lang siya sa original form niya which is f of t. So, as compared with the Laplace transform, medyo mas madali ang process ng pagkuha ng inverse Laplace transform kasi hindi masyadong magiging mahaba yung solution natin para dito. The only thing that you need to do is to familiarize yourself with the most common Laplace transform that we had. So, ito yung table natin for your reference. Later on kasi magagamit nyo ito sa pagkuha ng inverse Laplace transform. So, simulan natin sa medyo madali muna yung example natin. Find the following inverse Laplace transform. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s is squared plus 9. So, una i-write natin siya dito sa baba so that we have enough space. The inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s is squared plus 9. So, ang una natin gagawin is, kung mapapansin nyo kasi si 9, di ba, this is a perfect square. So, ang gagawin natin is, i-write lang ulit natin, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s is squared. Tapos, si 9 gawin lang natin plus 3 raised to 2. Di ba, kasi 3 raised to 2, 9 pa rin naman yan. Ngayon, balikan nyo yung table natin for Laplace transform. Sino ba doon sa table natin ang merong denominator na sum of 2 squares? Okay? So, kung babalikan nyo ang meron lang, ang Laplace transform natin na merong sum of 2 is, denominator na sum of 2 squares is yung Laplace transform natin for sine 80. Okay? Di ba ang sagot natin is a all over uh, s squared plus a squared. Okay? I-write lang natin to. So, that is s squared plus a squared. So, ibig sabihin dito, ang value ng a natin is 3. Pero, ang problema natin is, itong kinukuha natin inverse Laplace transform is hindi ganito yung kanyang itsura. ba kung ganito kasi dapat, ang value ng numerator natin dapat is 3, since ang value ng a natin dito is 3. So, paano ang gagawin natin para maging ganito ang itsura niya? So, parang babalansahin lang natin siya para maging ganito ang itsura niya. Mag-multiply tayo sa numerator ng 3, so lagyan natin the inverse Laplace transform of 1 times 3, diba? That is 3 all over s squared plus 3 squared. And then, para mabalansa natin, diba? Since nag-multiply tayo ng 3 doon sa taas, dapat mag-divide mag din tayo ng 3. Diba? Para mag-cancel out lang din sila later on. Ngayon, diba? Ito ang itsura nito is ganito na. Okay? Kapag ka ganito na yung itsura niya, a all over s squared plus a squared, Ibig sabihin, pwede na natin kunin yung kanyang inverse Laplace transform. Okay, so we have one-third times ang inverse Laplace transform of 3 all over s squared plus 3 squared is we have sine. Ano ang value ng a natin? That is 3t. Okay, and this is the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s squared plus 9. So, another example, the inverse Laplace transform of 5 all over 3s minus 1. Again, ang gagawin lang ulit natin dito is, i-write natin kasi kung titignan nyo, wala pa siyang kamuka doon sa table na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, pwede natin i-factor out si constant dito, pero i-work out muna natin yung denominator para matanggal natin yung 
coefficient ni variable s. So, we have, ito na lang sa baba, the inverse Laplace transform of the quantity 5 all over. So, kung ifa-factor out natin si 3 dito, ang may iwan sa loob is s minus 1 third. So, that 3 times 1 third, di ba magiging 1 pa rin yan. And the next step natin is, pwede natin i-factor out na si 5 over 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s minus 1 third. Ngayon, kung titignan nyo doon sa, sa table natin for Laplace transform, sino ang may ganitong form? Okay, ang may ganyang form is the Laplace transform of e raised to 80, which have the answer equal to 1 all over s minus a. Okay? So, ibig sabihin dito sa example natin, ang value ng A natin is 1 third. Okay? So, since ito, ganito naman na yung itsura niya, pwede na natin kunin yung inverse Laplace transform natin. So, magiging 5 over 3 times yung inverse Laplace transform of this is A raised to 80. Ang value ng A natin is 1 third T. Okay? And this is our final answer. So, makikita nyo as long as you are familiar with the different or yung mga common Laplace transform natin, madali na lang kunin yung inverse Laplace transform natin. So, let us have another one here. The inverse Laplace transform of 6 all over S raised to 3. So, ang gagawin lang ulit natin dito is i-factor out natin yung constant natin, si 6. So, 6 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over S raised to 3. So, again, balikan nyo yung table natin. Sino ba doon ang merong ganitong itsura? Yung kanyang Laplace transform is 1 all over S raised to an exponent. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, this looks like the Laplace transform of T raised to N, which is equal to N factorial all over S raised to N plus 1. So, dito, ang value ng n natin is, gawin natin siyang ganito yung itsura niya muna. Na writing this, this is 6 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s raised to 3, 3 yan, di ba? So, that is n plus 1. So, ibig sabihin, this is 2 plus 1. Okay? Pero, ang problema ulit natin dito is, hindi nakaganito yung itsura niya. Dapat yung numerator natin is n factorial. At ang value ng n natin is, 2. So, dapat sa numerator may 2 factorial tayo. So, again, balansehin lang ulit natin. Mag-multiply tayo sa numerator ng 2 factorial at mag-divide din tayo dito sa labas ng 2 factorial. Okay? 6 divided by 2 factorial, that is 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of 2 factorial all over S raised to 2 plus 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo ito, Si 2 factorial all over s raised to 2 plus 1 is ganito na yung kanyang itsura. So, pwede na natin kunin yung ating inverse Laplace transform. Magiging 3 times t raised to, ang anong value ng n natin dito? So, ang value ng n natin dito is equal to 2. So, we have 3 times t raised to 2. Okay? So, this is our final answer here. Well, let us have another example with the same form. So, dito naman, the inverse Laplace transform of 3 all over s raised to 4. I-factor out lang ulit natin si constant times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s raised to 4. Okay? So, dito, magiging 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of, gawin lang natin siya, unahin natin yung denominator natin. So, kung 4 ito, ibig sabihin we have s raised to 3 plus 1. Okay. Ngayon, gawin natin ganito yung itsura niya. Dapat may n factorial tayo sa taas. So, makikita niyo dito ang value ng n natin is 3. So, maglagay tayo ng, magmultiply tayo sa numerator ng 3 factorial. Tapos, dito din, magmultiply tayo ng 3 factorial dito sa denominator. So, that we will have 3 all over 3 factorial. We have 1 half times the inverse Laplace transform of 3 factorial all over s raised to 3 plus 1. Okay? Di ba si 3 factorial all over s raised to 3 plus 1, ganito na yung kanyang itsura. So, pwede na natin kunin yung ating inverse Laplace transform. We have 1 half times t raised to, ang value ng n natin is 3. 
Okay, so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 3 all over S raised to 4. Okay, so makapansin nyo, di ba? Madali lang siya. So, let us have another example here. Dito, inverse Laplace transform of different type naman. Okay, so we have the inverse Laplace transform of 7S all over S squared plus 4. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is i-factor out natin si 7. So, that we have 7 times the inverse Laplace transform of S all over S squared. Tapos si 4 gawin natin plus 2 raised to 2. Kasi diba 2 raised to 2, 4 pa rin naman yan. Ngayon, balikan nyo doon sa table natin, sino ang may ganitong itsura? Okay? It is in the form S all over S squared plus a square of a constant. Okay? So, kung babalikan nyo sa table, ang kaparehas nito is the Laplace transform of cosine AT. Okay, we have S all over S squared plus A squared. So, dito sa problem natin, ang value ng A natin is equal to 2. Okay, so since ganito naman na yung itsura nito, kunin na natin agad yung ating inverse Laplace transform. 7 times cosine A. Ano ang value ng A natin? That is 2T. Okay, so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 7S all over S squared plus 4. Okay, how about this one? O, again, i-factor out naman natin si 4. 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of S all over S squared minus. So this is 16, perfect squared, that is 4 raised to 2. Okay? So this time, sino naman ang may ganitong itsura? S all over S squared minus 4 squared. So take note, they are different, ha? Kasi dito kanina addition. So as you can see, itong ganitong itsura is wala sa table natin. So this is actually the Laplace transform of the hyperbolic cosine 80 which is equal to S all over S squared minus A squared. Okay? So dito ang value ng A natin is 4. So we have 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of S all over S squared minus 4 squared. So since ganito na siya, kunin na natin yung ating inverse Laplace transform. Hyperbolic cosine of A. Ang A natin is 4 times T. Okay, so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 4S all over S squared minus 16. So nasusundan nyo ba kung paano natin kinukuha ito? I hope nasusundan nyo. So, dito naman, we have the inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 5 all over s squared. So, i-write natin, the inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 5 all over s squared. So, ang gagawin lang natin is paghiwalayan natin itong buong equation natin so that we have the inverse Laplace transform of 2s all over s squared. Plus, the inverse Laplace transform of negative 5 all over S squared. Okay, so that we have two separate inverse Laplace transform. Tapos, i-factor out natin yung mga constant natin. So, what we have 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of S all over S squared. Tapos, dito i-factor out natin si, 5, si negative 5. Magiging negative 5 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over S squared. So, may pwede ba tayo i-simplify dito? So, dito, we have 2 times the inverse Laplace transform of S all over S squared. Magre-reduce in, ito into 1 all over S. Okay? Minus 5 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over S squared. Ngayon, doon sa table natin, sino ba ang may Laplace transform equal to 1 over S? Diba we have the Laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 over S. Ito, isa ito sa mga example natin last time, di ba? Yung sinolve natin. And for 1 over S squared, this is the Laplace transform of T. Okay? Which is equal to 1 over S squared. So, we have 2 times 1 minus 5 times T. Okay? Or to cut it short, we have 2 minus 5t. Okay, this is the inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 5 all over s squared.
So this is the final answer. So another example is the inverse Laplace transform of 4s minus 3 or over s squared plus 4. So rewriting this, we have, uh, paghiwalayin lang natin yung uh, dalawang yung numerator natin so that we have two different inverse Laplace transform. So we have the inverse Laplace transform of 4s all over s squared plus. Si 4, gawin lang natin siyang 2 is squared. Diba? Kasi 2 raised to 2, that is 4 pa rin naman. Plus, the inverse Laplace transform of negative 3 all over s squared plus 2 is squared. Okay? Ngayon, i-factor out natin yung mga constant natin. 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of s all over s squared plus 2 is squared. Tapos, kung i-factor out natin si negative 3, magiging negative 3 times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 all over s squared plus 2 is squared. Ngayon, looking at this, so balikan nyo doon sa table, sino bang ba kaparehas nila? Diba, we had an example that is uh, almost similar with this kanina sa er earlier example natin. So, eto, this looks like the Laplace transform of cosine 80, diba, which is equal to s all over s squared plus a squared. Ito naman, ang kamukha niya is the Laplace transform of sine 80, which is equal to a all over s squared plus a is squared. So, dito ba? Ano ba ang value ng a natin dito sa problem? So, looking at this, ang value ng a natin is 2. Okay? Pero ang problema natin dito na part, hindi pa ganito yung itsura niya. Kasi, di ba, it should be a all over s squared plus a is squared. So, kailangan natin gani gawing ganito yung itsura niya. Mag-multiply tayo ng 2 sa numerator and then to balance this out, mag-divide din tayo ng 2. So, that Magiging ganito yung kanyang itsura. So, simplifying this, we have 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of s all over s squared plus 2 squared minus 3 halves of the inverse Laplace transform of 2 all over s squared plus 2 squared. Ngayon, looking at this, di ba, nasatisfy na natin ito, ganito na yung itsura nila. So, kunin na natin yung mga inverse Laplace transform natin. So, ito, 4 times the inverse Laplace transform of s all over s squared plus 2 squared magiging cosine 80. So, ang value ng a natin is 2, t. Okay, minus 3 halves, ito, this is 2 all over the inverse Laplace transform of 2 all over s squared plus 2 squared. That is sine a, ang value ng a natin is 2, t. Okay, so this is the inverse Laplace transform of 4s minus 3 all over s squared plus 4. So itong Laplace transform natin, you can also use this to solve initial value problems. So suppose that f of t is a continuously differentiable function on the open interval. 0 up to infinity, then the Laplace transform of f prime of t, or that is the first derivative of t, is equal to s times the Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. Or yung general term natin, the Laplace transform of the nth derivative of f of t is equal to s raised to n times l, or the Laplace transform of f of t, minus s raised to n minus 1 times f of 0 minus s raised to n minus 2 times f prime of 0 minus up to the, we have f raised to n minus 1 derivative times 0. So we have convolution. The convolution of two functions f of t and g of t is a function of t that is f of t or we call this itong parang asterisk na symbol. This will denote the con convolution of two functions f of t and g of t which is equal to the integral of f of x times 
g of t minus x dx from 0 up to t. Now, assuming that the integral exists where x is a dummy variable and asterisk denote convolution, we can also express it into its inverse Laplace transform of f of s times g of s, which is equal to the convolution of two functions f of t and g of t. Okay, wherein yung f of t natin is the inverse Laplace transform of f of s and g of t is the inverse Laplace transform of g of s. So, ngayon yung convolution natin, it also satisfies the commutative law. So, we have the first scenario, the convolution of f of t and g of t, which is equal to this convolution kasi parang pinagbaliktad mo lang since commutative siya. Okay? And then it also applies to the integral and even kapag kahukunan mo yung kanilang Laplace transform. So, so let us have our example for convolution. Uh, finding the Laplace transform using convolution of two functions. So, we have cosine, the convolution of cosine 3t and t. So, dito kung ito, si cosine 3t ang ating f of t at si t ang ating g of t. Kunin natin yung ating Laplace transform of the convolution of two functions f of t and g of t. So, that is the Laplace transform of the convolution of cosine 3t and t. So, we express this as two separate Laplace transform. The Laplace transform of cosine 3t times the Laplace transform of t. Okay? So, dito, hindi nyo na kailangan gawin yung mahabang process na ginagawa natin, which is yung pagkuha ng integral, kasi pwede na kayong dumiretso sa table. So, alam natin ng Laplace transform ng cosine 80 is equal to s over s squared plus a squared. Okay? So, dito ang value ng a natin is 3. Okay? So, that we will have the Laplace transform of cosine 3t will be s all over s squared plus, ang a natin is 3, so this is 3 squared. Okay? And then, the Laplace transform of t, ano ba ang Laplace transform ng t? Diba? That is 1 over s squared. So, palitan lang natin ito ng 1 over s squared. Simplifying this, we have s all over s squared plus 9 times 1 over s squared. Okay? And then we can simplify this further. We have s all over s squared plus 9 times s squared. And then dito, s divided by s squared, but this will cancel out. Cancel out. We now have 1 over s squared plus 9, the quantity multiplied to s. And this will be our final answer. So, let us have another example here. The Laplace transform of f of t or the Laplace transform of the convolution of f of t and g of t. So, dito kung ito, si e raised to 80 ang f of t natin at ito ang g of t natin, we have the Laplace transform of the convolution of e raised to 2t and e raised to negative 2t. So, expressing this as two separate Laplace transform, the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t times the Laplace transform of e raised to negative 2t. So, ngayon, diba, this looks like the Laplace transform of e raised to 80. Diba, alam natin ng Laplace transform ng e raised to 80 is we have 1 over s minus a. So, dito sa una, ang value ng a natin dito is 2. Dito naman sa kabila, ang value ng a natin is negative 2. So, that we have the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t. So, i-substitute natin siya dito. We have 1 all over s minus a. Ang a natin is 2. Times, dito naman, 1 all over s minus negative 2. So, simplifying this, we have 1 over s minus 2 times 1 over negative times negative magiging positive to. So, s plus 
2. So, simplifying this further, we have 1 over s minus 2 times s plus 2. So, we will have 1 over s squared minus 4. Okay? So, this is our final answer for this problem. So, that ends our discussion for today. See you again on the next video for the next topic.